Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. A little bit different again, but I know that we all love something a little bit different, don't we? So normally I would start the video by saying, you can see what it is in the thumbnail, but I'm not sure by the way he's described it, you're gonna be able to tell what it is. So one of our subscribers has actually, sorry about that, has actually reached out to me and said, someone he knows has got this BMW M240i for sale. Um, he's had quite a wallop, but he couldn't claim off his insurance for one reason or another. I don't know, third party, uninsured. I genuinely don't know. I know a lot of people like to guess, but, and panel damage. Now I've asked for pictures of it and he hasn't got any pictures. He's also said to me, it's 2016, it's done about 16,000 miles, 66 reg, and he's not made a claim on it, but he has been bid a certain price for it. If we wanna match that price, we can have it, because he wants to see it on the channel. But this is like, off the bat, he's like, but I need a decision now. Normally alarm bells would be ringing. The guy's told me his name. I've looked him up and he has been following the channel for over two years. So I said to Chris, what do you think about it? And he said, mate, let's take a chance. You know, We are really buying this one blind and I've got to now transfer the money subject to it definitely being all clear that it hasn't been claimed on. So of course we're gonna run a check on it and if it's all good, we're gonna go there and pick it up. I have already asked if I can record, and the answer is no. So we're gonna to have to wait till we get back to the yard. Let's quickly do that check, and hopefully go and pick it up. Guys, we are talking about a between 20 and 28,000 pound car here. So as usual, guys, I've punched the Regin's car vertical, and it's come up there, just like the chap said, mileage okay, theft okay, finance, accidents, all okay. So this car is completely clear. I have had a quick scroll through this check and it does come with photos. So you've got the manufacturer's date there and there's various services and an ownership change there. Scrolling a little bit further down, this check was performed in all of these countries. So United Kingdom, Czech Republic, Romania, Canada, Sweden, Slovenia, just to name a few. Mileage on the last MOT there, 15,378 miles, and that was on the 12th 21. And that rings a bell for the date it was sold. We'll get down to that in a minute. As of today, the mileage is roughly 16,000. We've got no issues with the mileage whatsoever. Well, I am going to scroll down straight to the pictures. So we've got a valuation now of 23,474 pounds was previously on sale 9th 21 for 28 <clears throat> and then the 12th 21 for 25,990. Specs, got all the specs and equipment on the car vertical check. And then you can see there where it was for sale in a dealership in 2021, December. And it really does look a lovely car. Well, in these pictures anyway. So here's a, just a quick example, guys, and you can see on the first page, as soon as you do your check, it's in amber. So mileage, theft, accidents, and the only one that's okay on that is finance. I'm not going to go into this check too much, but what I will say is when you're purchasing your vehicle, use our discount code in the link in the description below to get 10% off of your check. When you're buying a car, whether it's your mum, dad, sister, uncle, auntie, just tell them to use Car Vertical, use the link in the description, and you can get 10% off your check. Right, it's all clear, let's go and get it. Guys, you probably see I've actually parked just in the front bit of the yard, first time ever, because this is definitely the hardest hit piece of salvage I've ever purchased in my life. Every single vehicle, and I've bought hundreds, have never ever been like this. But we stood on, I've bought it, and I'm sure it's going to be all right. But I wanted to quickly show you guys before we get Chris's reaction. I can see the gates open and he's got the radio on. So I'll quickly show you guys and then, uh, and then we'll get him out to have a look. I'm going to start on the good side. Big 
BMW M240i, 2016 car, done about 16,000 miles. Now guys, it does look like it's been hit in the front, bit of panel damage, bit of a gap there, bit on the seal, bit on the quarter panel there. You ain't seen nothing yet. I think that is probably a bit of a telltale and a bit of a giveaway there. And that's the panel gaps, guys. Check that out. That is absolutely slaughtered. Let's go and get Chris, see what he thinks. Thanks. The plan there, I've just had an idea. Let's turn the truck around so he sees the best side first. Just been in and called him, guys, and he's just finished the car. He said he'll be out in a minute. That's quite funny because he's going to think it's quite a nice car. But don't panic, everyone. Don't don't panic. This was, I already said early on in the video, this car was for next to nothing. And um, here he comes. All right? Nice car. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Well, it's had a donk, it? Mate, I'm not going to kid you, it's, it's quite bad. Start here and go the other way if you would. <laughs> You'll get to the damage last then. So can see the, wind, the windscreen. <laughs> he said it had a bit of a wallop in the front and panel damage all over look at the roof what, no one was hurting. the bloke i actually asked while i was there he walked out of this yeah, very lucky very very lucky unbelievable that he walked out of it i mean he must have felt it that's that's an odd impact isn't it well, I don't know what to say, really. That's, uh... Should we get the dozer well, under it now? for a reason, wasn't it? Yeah. Should we get the dozer under it? Well, I think you need more than a dozer. Chris, look at this. I can see. Yeah, I can see. And, obviously, I've had it open. Even the floor on the passenger side is all up in the air. Yeah. This whole car has laddered. I'm going to, can I get you to grab that camera just while I jump up? Because I will show the roof while I'm here. Hopefully you can see that, guys. You don't need to climb up there, mate. Every single airbag went off. That's bad, isn't it? That is bad, isn't it? Look at the, I'll tell you what I've done, the, the boot lid kept opening, so I took the gas struts off. Oh, good idea. Yeah. What's the value retail of one of these, Rob? 20 to 28,000 quid. It's unbelievable. I suppose there's no way of telling if the engine and gearbox is, but... Not at the you moment. You presume it was driving, wasn't it? It was driving all right when it crashed. Oh, it should be all right, shouldn't it? Yeah, what I will say is the bonnet is actually... That has actually popped. It does open right up, but you can see I've put the winch cable through it yeah. and probably scratched the only good bit on it. The kidney grills, yeah. Because yeah. that one's damaged, the other one weren't. Yeah. But it will be now. Should we have a look under the bonnet? Yeah, I'm going to have to get... If, you, if I get you to grab that... Show this if you want, Chris. The winch just to have a oh, yeah, yeah, the isolator key. Well, it'll make a good thumbnail if nothing else, Rob. Definitely. It's probably going to be our best thumbnail yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah. You know what though, I've kind of knew, I know people are probably not going to be able to hear me, but even though seeing it like that, I kind of knew that I would get this reaction 
people are probably thinking in the comments, oh, Chris is going to go crazy, but I knew you'd be the same as me. Have you said how much we paid? No. Yeah, well, we didn't pay a lot for no. it, for what it is, did we? So... No. probably worth mentioning actually it wasn't hundreds it was thousands but it oh was, yeah yeah it was still that, jump, jump up there that is what an m240i looks like you're gonna have to jump up and hold this on it for me i'm gonna jump over the other side though chris oh. actually this is not really showing the Let's see if the front of the engines took the plump. It, no, it hasn't. It kind of has, but not. Yeah. I don't think we've got much chance of it running somewhere. Have I don't think it'll run, no. But there's a very good chance there's the battery, there is a jump point now. <laughs> it come with two keys well, and the V5. Yeah. Because it's, I don't, did I mention this is, no clone. it's not recorded, yeah. no. And I don't know the ins and outs of that. I know people are going to guess, but Chris, do you know what? That engine. I mean, has something hit it or is it hit something? I mean, it's. I mean, I'm going to be honest on camera for the, you know, we don't normally get into it, but I did speak to the guy. He, I didn't speak to the guy that crashed it, but I spoke to the, yeah, someone, that knew yeah, someone that knew him and they said he got out of it okay and he actually crashed it right. at 80 mile an hour. So, can I jump down there, mate? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I must remember to take my isolator keys out as well, otherwise my battery will go flat. Let's just do that now. Right, mate, honestly, I know we're not going to make a plan. It's no nothing desperate, but... Well, we're not going to commit to Hang anything. on, let me come near you so people can hear. We're Certainly not going to commit to anything. No. That bumper's all right. Yeah, the look at the exhaust. Right. See yeah. the way it's laddered? Yeah. Yeah, the boot lid's fine, and this door's actually all right. Yeah. And right. it opens. Yeah. I took this headlight out so that it didn't fall. Right. Fall out, because it, obviously it's got no mounts on it, but... The ballast will be all right, I suppose. <laughs> but look at the floor. Yeah. You can't see it because it's black. It's so hard to show. But the floor, this side, guys, all of this. Oh, that's actually a mat. Look, you can see it now, that big hump in the floor. And all of this, yeah. this ain't been pulled up, has it? No. This is part of the accident. Mm. That glove box. Look how far out it is. It won't even shut. Nice bit of leather in it. It's got a lovely bit of leather in it. I don't think the driver's seat's too good, though. No. It looks a little bit bent, doesn't it? A little bit. Right, I just did a little cutting before I come and got you. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. And I actually said, this is the worst car since I've been doing salvage, and I've bought a lot of salvage cars. The worst car I've ever bought, ever. Mm. What do you think? I think it's the worst car that someone's turned up expecting me to repair. To <laughs> be <laughs> honest. Oh, mate. I'm not going to ask you to repair it. I definitely wouldn't ask you to try when and repair. I was repairing other people's cars. Everyone used to... Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's only a tiny little bit of damage. Yeah, it's you only always, two hours' work. You always, you always knew it was going to be worse than they described it, but yeah. I mean, what, even when you was doing my cars? Yeah, especially doing this. Oh, really? It's got a good set of, uh, well, it's got a good front caliper on it. Big it's got caliper, three right? good wheels. Big, they are big, four pots. Yeah, big four pots. Well, I don't know what to well, do. I think we'll have a little chat off camera, shall we? It's not really repairable, is it? There's one, one thing you could do with that, but we need to have a discussion first. Go on. No, we'll do it off. We'll have a discussion off camera, aren't we? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's do that then. Good morning, Art Group. We're trying to help now. Parts, please. Sure, one moment. Thank you. Thank you. Automatic 
Uh, good morning, bit of a strange request. Could I have a price on a complete body shell, please? M240i, that's correct. And you see for the entire body shell? Entire body shell, yeah. Just bare. That's not bad. That's not yeah, bad yeah. at all. Four thousand. Uh, four thousand four hundred sixteen sixty-seven. So all in it would be uh, fifty-three hundred pounds. Fifty-three hundred. Do you do one uh, panelled, like doors, wings, etc. Or? I guess so. We do that all separately. There. So that would be going to show itself. Those separate parts. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Cheaper than I expect. That's, do you know what? Guys, the reason we, you know, Chris recommended doing that because he bought a Mark V Escort once that was quite badly hit, but you could have repaired it, couldn't you? Oh, I've done quite often transits. Oh, you have, haven't you? He basically bought a Mark V Escort body shell complete and it was under two grand, right? Yeah, transit one was only just over two. So a full transit. Oh, we're talking like old Smiley here, aren't we? We are, yeah. Smiley Transit, yeah. just over 2,000 quid for a shell. I don't think that's spiteful, but... What was that? 5.3 five, three five, with, three with a VAT. I yeah. don't think it's going to add up, though, do you? Well, there'll be a lot of other parts as well. Wouldn't yeah, it? there will, yeah. But that was very interesting and something that we haven't shown before. Well, I actually got Chris sat here with me because I didn't want anyone thinking I was kidding and they say, yeah, Chris is not here, he's got the um. Mate, you found that as funny as I did, really, didn't you? Well, that's what it is, isn't it? Chris has drawn up some numbers here because uh, this is going to be the last video on that car. Well, 90%. 90%. Yeah. So we're just going to do the numbers on it now anyway. Purchase price, £2,500. Where on earth are you going to buy one of them for that money? That was unbelievable, but I must admit, it put a lump in my throat when I got out of the truck and see the state of it. Collection, 50 quid. <coughs> Body shell. That was a good, good shout there, mate. Well done. £4,416. Uh, Second-hand parts. Chris, you've estimate. done this, this as is, an estimate. Yeah. There's a load of question marks here. 6,000 quid. Yeah. It, it's I gonna, think it was a good £6,000. It's going to need a lot of parts. parts. Paint, £2,000. Glass, 500 quid. But that is going to include, because you see it's only got one broken window. That would include cutting all the other glass out and sticking it back in. That would give a total of £15,466. Which is... But it's down here that that's what we reckoned it was worth. We think that that car's worth, yeah, twenty two grand, all done. So that would actually give a profit of £6,534. Which probably. Is a nice, nice profit. It is a nice profit, but like you said, we'll probably repair four cars. I'd say more like six yeah, cars possibly. Yeah. in the time it would take to do that. Yeah. And of course, that would take up a lot of time on the ramp. Did you write down here what, what our plans are? Well, just briefly. Selling it to a breaker's yard. Now, I know the guys down at Bridge End, I also know uh, a BMW breakers that specialise in M cars. So Chris just said, ring around and just get the best you can for it. And I know we're going to end up with a healthy profit on that because as obliterated as that looks to you guys, that's got three alley wheels on it. It's got three good tyres on it. It's got the back calipers, front calipers, back... I mean, the list goes on and on. We could be there ages. The only thing ruined in the interior is the driver's door panel mm. and the driver's seat. Mm. All of it is very, very usable. And because it is an m 240 i I keep calling it a 140. The the bits for it are specialist and they're worth a good few quid. I notice it's still got a good wing mirror on it as well. So, <coughs> excuse me, it's where I keep laughing. Guys, that is going to be the end of the video on the BMW if I can't sell it. Well, I, I guess one other option would be to find another damaged one. Yeah. To use parts off of that. But One that's sitting in the back? 
There ain't a lot of parts on it, is there? So, no. But. I mean, that damage on that quarter panel, I know we don't want to waffle on too much in the video, but that damage in the quarter panel, I've seen dents before on the other sides of cars, and I've bought cars to you yeah, yeah, with right. dents in the other side, and when you pull them, hmm. I've actually physically been here and heard it go, pop, yeah. and that actually pops out. That's bad. That's, yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. bad. I mean, I, I I don't want to measure it out in inches. I think it'd be easier to do it in feet. And that A panel's definitely back about two foot. <laughs> <laughs> Further than where it should yeah. be, guys. Drop your comments in the comments section. I know a lot of you are going to go, Rob, you're crazy. You should have left it. But do you know what? If I'd have turned up, and I think I, think I would have rung you first and said to you about it, but even if I'd have t I did pay for that car before I turned yeah. up because yeah. we didn't want someone else getting it. But even if I did turn up and I sent you pictures like that, we'd have still bought it, wouldn't we? Yeah. So it, it's, we don't want anyone thinking, oh, you got tucked, you know, you got done there because ultimately we didn't. And, and on art, I think we're going to earn the same amount of profit out of that as we probably do on buying a car and repairing it. So it's a winner all round. Guys, don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Drop us a comment in the comment section down below. Don't matter how funny it is on this one. Like, subscribe and share. We'll see you all very, very soon in the next one. Disclaimer to throw in there, guys. Car Vertical obviously wasn't at the scene of the accident. They collect all their data from various sources, including insurance companies. And because that car hasn't had a claim made on it, it's actually coming up clear. But in the real world, that car should be a Category B.